Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to build a home drum kit using just a practice pad, some books and paper. Now this video is specially made for students who are new to drumming or for those who are not ready to commit to buy a drum set. No worries, this is how I started for the first few years of my drumming journey. Now there are three important things to take note when building a home drum kit. Number one, don't compromise on technique. How you place your books, the position of the chair, your posture, the spacing between the books, all these are very important because you want it to be as close to the actual drum set as possible so that you don't compromise on your technique. Second thing is don't compromise on the feel. When you're hitting the snare drum, it should feel like you're hitting the snare drum. When you're using your leg to step on the bass, you should feel like you're using a heel up approach. When you're playing the accents on the bell, on the hi-hat, the spacing and the feeling, it should feel right. And the third important thing is don't waste too much time and money. All you need is to grab some books and you can set it up in less than 5 minutes. Anything more than 5 minutes, you won't be motivated to even want to set up and practice at all. So what do you need to set up a home drum kit? Now the first and most important thing you need is a practice pad. So this practice pad is going to represent your snare drum. What you need to do is to get something that will be able to hold your practice pad. So something that will be small enough so that it can fit in the middle of your legs because your legs is going to be around the stand. Right, you want to place the practice pad right in the middle. You want to make sure that the practice pad is not below your knees. So in this case, it is below my knees. So I want to place a book underneath to raise it up a little bit so that it is above my knees. So I'm going to just put a book over here and I'm going to raise the practice pad up. And now you can see that the practice pad is above my knees. So that when I pick up the sticks and I play on the practice pad, I can hit it comfortably without my hands touching my leg at all. So the next thing we're going to build is the hi-hat. For that, you need a hardcover book with a very, very thick binder and you need a stand to be able to hold your book. So first, I'm going to adjust the stand to make sure that it is aligned to my snare drum and it's just going to be on the left side aligned. Next, I'm going to place the book just like that. The binder of the book should be nearer to you. So this will act as the edge of the hi-hat and that's where you're going to play the accents. For the hi-hat, you want to make sure that it is much higher than the practice pad. If it's on the same level, you want to raise it up a little bit. So in this case, I'm going to put another book underneath it just to raise it up a little bit. So by putting the book in, you can see that now my hi-hat is much higher. If I take a stick, this will be the edge of my hi-hat where I play the accents and this will be the top of the hi-hat where I play my non-accents. Another thing to take note is when you do a right over left, you want to make sure that your sticks do not click each other. That will do. Now we're going to build our high tom. So for that, you need a stack of books to just place in front of you. Again, make sure that the high tom, it is higher than your snare drum. So something along this height will be good. Now, for the floor tom, it's very simple. What you want to do is just to be at the side of the bed. So this is what I really like for the floor tom, just to use the side of your bed because it has a very nice low feel to it and it's very bouncy to use as a floor tom. Next, the right symbol. For the right symbol, I will use either a magazine or something that is a little bit thinner. Again, it will be good to have a hard binder and I'll place the binder away from me. So now this is going to be my right symbol and this is going to be my bell. So you can hear the sound difference. Last but not least, we're going to build the bass drum. So what you need is a stack of A4 paper and what I did was I took out a bunch of paper so that I can have this hollow effect when my foot is being placed on this. You're going to place this below and you're going to put your foot on top. Now this is very important that you make sure that your heel is up. So you want to make sure that there is a gap between your heel and the floor and you want to make sure when you're stepping on it, your heel is up at all times. So there you are, you are ready to have your home drum kit. So let's play some drums. Now
Now you may ask, where is the crash and where is the mid tom? Well, it doesn't really matter. You don't really have to have a full setup. So what you can do is sometimes this can always be your crash. So if I'm doing a snare and a floor and a crash, it will be snare, snare, floor, floor, crash. That can be done. Or sometimes if you need another mid tom, you can always hit this side of the bed to be your mid tom. This part can be your floor tom. This part can be your second floor tom. So it really doesn't matter. It's up to your creativity. There are three limitations when it comes to a home drum kit like this. Number one, the most obvious is you don't have a foot pedal. So there's only so much you can do with your bass drum. Number two is you don't have a hi-hat pedal. So you won't be able to play things like open hi-hat or to be able to work on some accents and dynamics on the hi-hat. And number three, of course, you don't have the actual sound of the drums. So everything you hear is just the book or the practice pad or your stack of paper. But anyway, it takes usually about one year to reach those advanced concepts and by then, maybe you'll be ready to buy your first drum set. I hope that you have enjoyed this video and that you have learned how to build your home drum kit with just books and paper. Now, if you like this video, do give us a thumbs up, continue to subscribe to My Drum School and if you have any questions, do leave us in the comment section below. I will see you at MDS Online. Let's get drumming!